the it's first bird seed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Bird and that is actually like feeding your child McDonald's every day for the rest of their life. Fatty Green. liver disease, atherosclerosis, we see the problems rampant because there's no nutritional value. We actually genetically diet. alter our you seeds for types of fossil fuels and stuff in captivity. In the wild, they would eat unripened fruit for the seed, yeah. but you've got the nutrition in there. Yeah. So the greens, the grains, and actually the pelleted, the formulated diet. Any idea why I don't give them much fruit ever in captivity? The sugar. In the wild, they would eat unripened fruit. They're not used to processing that high sugar content of ripened fruit. So therefore, it can cause things like avian gastric and stuff that goes off the floor through the digestive system. So getting to know these things about them is how you get your birds to have longevity. Some of the damage that, that these guys come in with, we can't undo. Right. It's too progressive. Right. Um, but other ones, you can make that difference. Mm -hmm. yeah, the ones that were horrible feather quality, suddenly it really is a great example. Over 40-year-old Greenwing Macaw just shredded. I mean, he mm. did a little bit of gray down, the tail was all shredded out, the wings he'd all barbered. He's starting to look gorgeous, filling in. He had an all fruit diet his entire life. Now he's getting the greens, the grains, the things high in vitamin A in a formulated pelleted diet. All the feather plumage and stuff is coming in. Dietary can be a big reason also for the feather damaging. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah.